Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavy.net, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, I'm going to talk to you about uh, how to debug Angular 2 app, uh, specifically with Chrome extension. So here I wanted to talk to you about one of the extensions which is being developed by Wrangle.io. So this is their site. And uh, this is uh, basically, uh, they are pretty much into the JavaScript apps uh, uh, using variety of techniques like whatever JavaScript frameworks are available today in the market like angular 2 or react and whatever is there right so they are into that business um, on all the variety using everything right so they have also written one of the components from for chrome extension which is made for angular 2 debugging and that is called this one so here augury so you you see this uh, little icon over here which is um, a moon over here right so when you click on this it will take you to this website so angular augury uh, and this augury uh, basically it gives you a simple giphy here like how you can inspect data and how do you debug this and this is the small extension over here which you can see um, i'll be uh, demoing the same thing in uh, in some time but you can install this extension from this particular site this is that hyperlink for that and here i have already installed that and i'm on the, the simple forms page of that uh, which we have been seeing so far now if i click on f12 over as a dev in order to bring the developer tool so here you can see the last tab which i is brought here is that augury tab itself which is made for my uh, which is meant for my angular 2 uh, debugging purpose there are two things here properties and injector graph so uh, this is the forms page let's say i am uh, i want to inspect this first uh, particular property which is uh, the tightening which is coming here so when i collapse this uh, particular thing uh, then it is going to give me the values whatever whatever is inside now uh, this is the providers which is giving me like what are the um, associated class and ng controls and stuff so these are the things and um, let's say this is the james cameron right so when i click on this guy so there is one hidden value which is coming via here let's say this is the id which is not showing here but it is showing here so that, that is the one thing and uh, this is the input uh, thing over here and um, this is james cameron which is coming here as you can see this is the value of that james cameron name now this is coming via ng model obviously we are binding via ng model and this is the place which where we are doing so <clears throat> so this is the binding which is happening in the last section we have seen like how to do a binding using ng models ng model is nothing but two-way binding uh, that means uh, whenever you are doing back-to-back -back binding uh, either to view the uh, either to give the glimpse on the view or to edit it back and uh, for persisting back into the db right so this is quite significant in terms of uh, doing model binding with your props now switching back to the view uh, likewise when you click on this you can inspect the properties over here a variety of properties here now there is also uh, these are the different states of the class which is we have been uh, utilized so far so this this is the properties section and there is also an injector graph section right so injector graph is basically showing you like all the dependency which are getting injected like how the very first thing is uh, my app component gets bootstrapped this is again my filling my movie form component again movie form component is filling me uh, form and hereby uh, which is dependent on ng form and controller container so these things which are in red basically it's getting pulled from angular core uh, library itself and um, this which is uh, in uh, gray color right so these things are basically my custom components right and basically whichever is the red these are all angular stuffs right so this is the uh, major distinction between uh, this is kind of nice uh, graphing model right so here you can see like how it is um, uh, putting all this value so this is the form value right so it, it presented me the form here now uh, when i click on this any of this property here 
then it will uh, expand um, like uh, when here i have clicked on one of the properties then it got expanded here that's tree list so this is the nice um, nice kind of understanding from why seeing the graph only you can understand like okay this is the flow of that entire app so in a nutshell i see this this is a kind of very useful uh, tool for debugging this router tree uh, will come into picture when we will talk about uh, routes associated with angular 2 i hope you have liked this session around um, how to get started with debugging around uh, around angular 2 with chrome extension in the coming sections we'll uh, do certain deep dive around angular 2 till then stay tuned and happy coding thanks